I've got some patterns during the Vogue sale, baby. And y'all know, fall is right around the corner. So if that's some content you would like to see, please continue to watch. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Design. And in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys easy Vogue patterns that I picked up last week during the Butterick. Butterick was on sale for $2.99. Vogue was on sale for $5.99. I picked up a few patterns and these are all very easy to sew. And I picked them up for the fall time. So you will be seeing these during the fall. I already have it slotted on my calendar. Yep, 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 yep. So go get your paper, get everything that you need, and let's get into it. But if you are new to the channel, welcome. Hello, child, guten tag, aloha, hola, konnichiwa, wagwan, sambanani, salon, bonjour, tarve. Hey, <laughs> all right? And if you're returning, you guys know what to do. Quick snack, something to drink, beverage of choice, and come on back so we can talk about it. And if you here, you've been here before, so you guys already know what to do, hit the like button, subscribe button, also turn on that notification bell so you are notified every time your girl uploads a new video. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it in order to keep this video short, sweet, to the point, give you all the news that you can use on this video and give you all the details as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so you guys know I only picked up six freaking Vogue patterns. Okay, let me say that again. Your girl only picked up six patterns. So if you guys notice, your girl only has been picking up like five, six, three, you know, four, not many, okay? Because I have a lot of patterns, I'm going through them, but I picked these up strictly for a reason, okay? So let's go ahead and get into the first one. One thing I wanna mention is you definitely want to get your notebooks, okay? Once again, I'm gonna pause right here. Go get your notebooks. I'll wait five seconds for you. All right, five seconds is up, okay? We don't want you to take that long because it should be nearby. Anytime you click on my video, make sure you have something to drink, beverage of choice, and your notebook, okay? Let's go ahead and start with the first one. All of these are easy to sew Vogue patterns. If you did not hear me the first time, very easy to sew. All right, so first one is, all of these are Vogue, so I'm just gonna tell you the number, 9115, boom, okay? And this is a very loose fitting unlined jacket. It has a mock band and narrow hem. Now, this is a very easy to sew pattern. In terms of notions, you only need trim if you are doing view A. So let me tell you this, write it down because it's a what? No notion pattern alert, okay? No notions, unless you're doing that fringe like you see on view A right here. You're welcome, 9115. And the reason why I picked this up is because I plan on doing view C. So if you missed my video, when I picked up some Ankara fabric from House of Mommy Wacha, I talked about a duster that I wanted to do. So I'm gonna show you guys that fabric again. Um, I'm gonna put it up on the screen so you're able to see it. But I feel like this pattern Vogue 9115 would be better suited for the duster that I want to create. So that's why, and then also on the pattern, it has kind of like some geometric abstract fabric and the fabric that I want to use is similar. So I decided to go ahead and pick this up. This was staring me in my face while I was looking for a different Vogue pattern, okay? I was looking in for a different Vogue pattern they did not have, so I'm gonna try to order it on simplicity.com and get it sent here, because I'm waiting on a package anyway as of the recording of this video from Vogue.com, the new Vogue collection. All right, well, this is Vogue 9115. Let's go ahead and get into the next pattern. So the next pattern is Vogue 9138. It is also another very easy to sew pattern. And this one is a semi-fitted unlined jacket. It has collar, shoulder pads, and flaps. Fitted lined vest, it has well pockets, and then it also features a semi-fitted skirt that has a waistband and back zipper and a hemline slit, okay? So 
View A is your jacket, view B is your vest, and view C is your skirt. Here's the thing. So I picked this up strictly for the vest. There we go, okay? Um, and the reason why is because I still have a blue board to sew up for the fall, winter time, or whatever. It's my blue board, the last board I'll be doing for Make 9 2024. And on that board, it has a vest. So I feel like this one would be a great one to do in that blue. Don't know if I wanna do it stripe or just solid blue, but I think this pattern will fit the bill. Now, in terms of notions, I'm just gonna view A, which is a blazer. Now, before you ask me, Rochelle, would you do that blazer with the flap and da 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 da? I don't know, okay? Not as a sew along, as a matter of fact, before you ask for a sew along. Um, but in terms of view B, the vest, you're just going to need some buttons. And this also reminds me of the sew along that I did for Butterick 6901, I think is that vest number, 6901 or 6910. One or the other, I'll put it up on the screen so you're able to see it. It pretty much tells me it's pretty much the same pattern, okay? Similar, but I picked it up anyway. It's a Vogue pattern. And then view C, you're just going to need a seven inch exposed zipper. Now, if you want to do a invisible zipper, that's by all means fine. But in the back of my skirt, I wouldn't want a um, all purpose zipper. I mean, I'm sorry, I wouldn't want an invisible zipper. I would want an all purpose or exposed zipper. Just FYI for me. And before you ask me why, um, I don't want a invisible zipper in the back for structure purposes. I like my invisible zipper on a skirt on the side, okay? In the back, I rather prefer an exposed zipper, but you can move that zipper to the side, right? And just zip it up from the side and use an invisible zipper instead of an all-purpose zipper. This is a center back zipper for that skirt, so I just prefer my center back zippers to be exposed. If you know, you know, all right? Um, but yeah, that's all you need, some seam binding and hook and eye, just to name a few. Um, for fabric, crepes, gabardine, ponte, knit, or linen for this one as well. I have some linen in my stash. So this is 91.38. Next one I picked up is a tunic pattern. And tunic is definitely on my Make 9 for both the yellow board as well as the blue board. But this one that I picked up is for my yellow board that I'm currently working on behind the scenes right now, okay? So this is a 9151. It is a very easy to sew, loose fitting pullover tunic. It has collar and front bands, back pleated into the yoke and narrow hem. So view A, you have your stitched hem on the sleeve. And then view B, you can do the color blocking on view B. And then view C is just your normal one. Now the one that I plan on doing is view C. That's the one that I'm planning on doing, but in a yellow. Um, in terms of notion, this is a no notion pattern. You're welcome. <laughs> Write it down. This is a no notion pattern and very easy to sew. You're welcome. But once again, it's 9151 and I'm going to be putting this in as a light yellow. Okay. For to go with, if you remember when I talked about that quick duster, these two patterns together would be magical, okay? And then some pants to go along with it. All right, but this one is 9151. Let's go ahead and move over to the next pattern. So the next one is 9339, which is a jacket. Now I don't have it for this, this year. I do see this one being part of um, a board that I will be talking about coming up next year in the springtime. And this is a easy to sew pattern. It is a jacket pattern. It's fitted line jacket. It has button or snap closure and a two piece sleeve. This is not rated as very easy, but it is still rated as easy. And in terms of notion view a, you're going to need some piping. So if you have never done piping, there's tons of videos on um, YouTube that you can learn how to do piping. All right. Um, for view B, you're going to need three one inch snaps. And then you're also going to need three one and one eighth buttons and optional shoulder pads if you decide to do that as well. Some of the fabrics that you could use for this pattern are your crepes, flannel, silk tweed, just to name a few of the fabrics. But once again, it's 9339. All right, so the next uh, pattern, there's only two patterns left. The next pattern is another tunic. And this one is used for my blue board, okay? 9348, which is a 
easy to sew pattern. This one is the missus top is a pullover top with stand up collar and neck facing feature and sleeve bands cut on the cross grain and bias overlay option. And then view C has your purchase ribbon there that you see on the sleeve right there. It's purchase ribbon, okay? Now, in terms of notions, this is a no notion pattern other than ribbon if you are doing view C. But of course you can omit it if you want to. But once again, write this bad boy down, no notion pattern. You're welcome, <laughs> okay. All right, and then in terms of fabric, it's crepe. Um, matte jersey, silk broadcloth, just to name a few. Me, I would probably be using a crepe because I do have like this slate blue color fabric in my stash that I think I wanna use that for the tunic. Now, for me, I want to do view A on this tunic, but I'm also looking at view C, which it has that, like that overlay effect. So that's what I plan on doing for this one. But once again, it's 9348. Last pattern that I picked up is a top slash dress pattern. It's 9370. Um, it's a tunic dress and belt pattern. It is an easy to sew pattern. So for this one, view A is your tunic, view B and C are your dress with asymmetrical button front. You could also use this as battle of the shirt dress as a matter of fact, which is still going on until September. I think that date is September 20th. I believe I'll check the date and put it up on the screen, but it is the Saturday before fall start. So I, I think it may be the same day as fall start, but I'll put it up on the screen so you're able to see that. But it also features loose fitting and have a shaped collar and neck band, button cuffs and length and hem variation. And you also have view D as your belt that you can add to this one as well. Let me pause right here to let you guys know that next Sunday, or this Sunday, I should say, August the 11th, I will be going live with my girl Chris from Unsocial for some Beat the Clock. So you wouldn't want to mess it. Now that I talked about that, let's go ahead and get back to regular schedule program viewing. In terms of fabric, cotton shirt, and, um, crepe, linen, just to name a few of the fabrics, and of course, for Notion, A, B, and C, you're going to need 15 half-inch buttons. And then for that belt, you're going to need two D-rings, okay? And the, that D-ring needs to be one and a half inch, okay? Or you can use a buckle if you choose to as well. Miss Anita by Design has a way of how she create her belts, you know, fabric belts or whatever. You can use that one as well, which I probably find to be a little bit more better than just a belt like this, all right? Now, what I plan on doing is part of my blue board, view A, which is the top slash tunic. I think that would be great. I already have some navy blue pants that I made when I did Vintage Vember. I think that would be amazing with it, but I do uh, have fabric in my stash, which I will show doing my blues board um, what fabric I will be using for view A. So you will see this pattern again coming up in another month and a half or so. But once again, it's 9-3. Seven zero. All right, so those are all the patterns that I picked up at Joann's in store for Vogue. And I picked these patterns up with intentions of finishing my yellow and my blue board this year. So you will be seeing them again coming up really soon. All right, well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. And if this video was educational, inspiring, and fun, please do not forget to hit that like bu button, subscribe button, also smash that notification bell so you are notified every time your girl uploads a new video. So I'll catch you in the next video. And as always, keep sewing. <laughs>